But first, the escalating situation between Israel and Gaza has led to some unbearable news stories over the last couple of weeks. Of course, any kind of conflict also has a significant impact on global markets. Now, those market stories may seem much less important, but traders will still need to follow them very closely. A lot of investors look for safe haven assets to try and protect themselves from any future volatility in the markets. So gold prices are up, the dollar saw some strong performance, although that has since softened a bit. We've also been seeing stock market falls as investors look for safety. And of course, whenever there's turmoil in the Middle East, you get some traders worrying about whether wider disruption could cause problems for oil supply. So we've seen oil prices get quite high, ease off a little bit. Now, one other thing that's worth mentioning is the bond market. What we normally see when investors are looking for safe havens is a movement towards government debt. That doesn't seem to be happening just now. In fact, US Treasury bonds have struggled over the last week or so. They hit a 17-year low at one point. We've seen a similar story with UK gilts, where yields have been rising. Now, one reason for this is sticky inflation. That means interest rates might stay higher for longer. But then there are also growing concerns about the levels of government debt. 